Hello, Cali Purple was just released and in this video I'm going to go over an overview of what exactly Cali Purple is, the tools, and how it plays into context with businesses and cybersecurity. And stay to the end of the video and I'll be going over how you can land a job with Cali Purple while using ChatGPT for free. So what exactly is Cali Purple? Essentially, its aim is to become the most comprehensive security operations center or SOC that exists for a lab environment. Now, most people, when they think Kali Linux, they think offensive and penetration testing, and those tools are absolutely great to learn. However, there's another set of jobs and that has been ignored by the cybersecurity community, even though most of the jobs are, and that is the blue team. And Cali Purple adds a lot of blue team jobs. And if we go ahead and we look at this architecture, what you're going to notice is a lot of these jobs are blue team. If you don't know what that is, the blue team is the defensive side in cybersecurity. They're the ones defending while the red team that gets most of the attention is the offensive side, and they're the ones trying to hack into organizations, networks, to expose vulnerabilities. A lot of people want to become red teamers. Some really common jobs on the blue team that Cali Purple can help you train for are things such as a security analyst, a computer forensic analyst, a threat intelligence engineer, a security engineer, a risk management or GRC analyst, a security consultant, and the list could go on and on. Cali Purple is based on the NIST cybersecurity framework. And essentially this framework is broken down into identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. This is what the entire security operation center does. For the NIST CS cybersecurity framework, Identify is the first one, and this involves identifying critical assets and systems that require protection. Then the second part is protect, which is implementing safeguards to protect against potential threats. The third part of the cybersecurity framework is to de detect, monitoring and detecting potential cybersecurity threats. This includes monitoring systems, intrusion detection systems, and security measures. The fourth part is to respond. This includes developing an incident response plan, communication strategy, and coordinating with relevant stakeholders. The fifth part is to recover, recovering from cybersecurity incidences and restoring normal business operations, which is a lot. You're usually only going to work in one or two of these when you land a job in cybersecurity. The way they developed all of the tools is they actually have put all of the tools based on each one of these. Some tools included with Kali Purple are incident response platforms, vulnerability scanners, security information and event managers, full packet capture and analysis. They also include some documentation for these tools. Some things that you can do with Kali Purple is you can play around with practicing operations, so virtualization, firewalls, VLAN, WAF, SIM. You could also practice the red team. You could practice the blue team. You could practice purple teaming and you could protect and deploy Kali Linux to actually protect your network if say you have a small business. If you are new to cybersecurity, all of this can seem really overwhelming. So if you look at this security operations center, you're probably overwhelmed. Actually, this kind of overwhelms me, but you have to remember this is literally hundreds of jobs all within one box. So you don't need to know everything. You only need to know enough to get you a job. For instance, I worked on the web application firewall for 18 months and that is all I did. So I onboarded, I onboarded new applications. I tuned for false positives. I talked with the software developers to fix code and all of that. At the end of that 18 months that I worked just on the WAF, I was still learning new things. So there's no way that you can become competent in all of these tools. You can get a familiarization with each one of them and understanding how it all works together is good, but honestly, it could be a huge information overwhelm to try and learn 
every single thing. So how can you use Cali Purple to land a job? I have been playing around with ChatGPT and honestly, it could probably give you a better education than a lot of courses that you go through. Because Cali Purple is so big, what I would do is I would go tool by tool and figure out what each one of these does. So for instance, type in, say, what is Multego and how does it fit into the cybersecurity framework? And ChatGPT actually gives some really good answers. You can ask it what type of jobs use this tool and it comes up with a lot of different jobs. You can also come up with different projects if you are more interested in that tool. So I was like, what are some projects that I can do to practice with this tool? And it literally gave me a way better list than I could ever come up with. So it was like fraud investigations, OSINT, vulnerability assessment. And then I was like, well, can you let step by step how to do the one with social media? And it literally gave me step by step on how to do that. To me, this is a much better education than what you could do by just watching a lecture or just by reading a book. When you go through this, you're going to make, you're gonna to want to make sure that you document what you're doing to make some type of online portfolio, whether that be a YouTube video or a Medium post or a LinkedIn post, you just want to show your work so you can prove that you have those skills. And also by practicing and doing all of this, you're gaining a lot of context, which will definitely help you land a job. You want to show your work. Also make sure that you know what job you are aiming for. Then you can focus on which tools to use. And if you don't know, I would just play around with it. A lot of the learning comes from just messing around, to be honest. Yeah. So. Also, I do have a community below if you wanna go check that out. If you wanna go and check out all of my other videos, go and check that out, and I will see you in the next video.